Efforts to finally eradicate trachoma from Aboriginal communities are well on track and improving, a conference in Brisbane has been told. But ophthalmologists aren't opening the champagne just yet, with trachoma still a major problem in remote Australia. Ophthalmologists have trachoma in their sights. While Aboriginal kids have much better vision than mainstream kids, by the time they reach the age of 40 and above, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander adults have six times as much blindness. And almost all of the blindness and vision loss is unnecessary. The College of Ophthalmologists' annual scientific congress is meeting in Brisbane this week with eradicating this eye disease as a number one priority. Australia, in the 21st century, is the only developed country that still has trachoma. Trachoma disappeared from mainstream Australia about 100 years ago. But it's still uh, a problem, in, uh, particularly in the outback areas, uh, in the Aboriginal communities. Professor Hugh Taylor from the Indigenous Eye Health Centre at the University of Melbourne released a report finding ophthalmologists are winning the battle against trachoma. The rate of trachoma in the kids in the uh, uh, remote areas was 14% and the latest data show that it's now less than 4%. The Roadmap to Close the Gap for Vision report was developed by the University of Melbourne and contains 42 interlock policy recommendations for better eye health. Trachoma is, is, uh, is a big problem in the Aboriginal communities, but there are other causes of vision loss as well. Uh, diabetes, the effect of diabetes on the eye, cataract, and even the need of a pair of glasses. But with university and government backing, Professor Taylor is hopeful to close the vision gap once and for all. In terms of eye health, I think that there is the commitment from both the, the, the state and uh, Commonwealth governments. Uh, they can see that this is something that is fixable and doable. And I think this is a, a you know, potentially a really good news story. David Little, NITV News, Brisbane.